Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, November 7th, 2018. Um, this is not time specific. So just because the messages are coming through today, it doesn't mean it necessarily has to resonate with you today. Um, this could just be, this is basically whatever spirit wants to talk about at this moment in time, yeah? It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It is not sign-specific, love-specific, or career-specific. This is just the general energies on what's going on for most of us. Again, if it res take what resonates. If it does resonate, awesome. If it doesn't resonate right now, maybe come back a bit later. If you were to say, if it were to pop back in your head and say, oh wait, now that makes sense. Well then, at that point, you might wanna come back and check it out, yeah? Okie dokie, guys. I hope everyone had a good Tuesday yesterday. Um, I hope everyone was able to get out and vote. It was election day yesterday for the midterms, but whatever. Today's a new day. Let's get started, guys. <laughs> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, November 7th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, so I started seeing a color long before um, I started the video because I spent a little bit trying and uh, like working to connect with the energies. and. Um, I'm seeing yellow, and to me this is talking about willpower, drive, ambition. Um, you, this, you could be taking some steps in career towards your mission, whatever your mission is for you. You could be um, 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 applying for new jobs. I know I got an email for an interview for an internship overnight. Uh, I woke up to it this morning and I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, that was fast. <laughs> um, so for me, that definitely resonates. A lot of us have really been focused on, you know, ourselves and our careers and our lives. This doesn't have to be anything career wise. This just is, this yellow is talking about you taking action steps towards what it is you're passionate about, what it is you want to do, love to do, are here to do, that kind of thing. Um, and many of us have been working on the whole self-love aspect of the situation, and that is helping to clear up the space and the air or the, the pathway for us to take these steps towards what it is we're truly passionate about, Yeah. So that's kind of exciting. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna give a few more shuffles and then we see what we got for today. Wednesday, November 7th, 2018. Wednesday, November 7th. Best messages, please. Let's see what we've got Wednesday, November 7th. Everything's, everything's falling face down today. My, my, we've got the Ten of Cups. Strength. <laughs> the Hierophant in reverse and the Queen of Wands. Underneath the deck is the Five of Wands. Mm -hmm. So, underneath the deck we have the Five of Wands here. Okay. Um, Spirit is kind of asking me to do another pull because there's more to the story, they're saying. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this Five of Wands, and I'm going to put this here. And now we're going to pull there one more pull. What's the rest of the story, Spirit? <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh. This is so funny. And then, oh my goodness. Okay. So now underneath the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of, and I'm laughing. I'm laughing because the Knight of Pentacles and the Fool came out yesterday. The Fool was the central theme from yesterday and the day before um, the happy hour reading. We're continuing the story here. Okay. And finally, the lovers. Oh, goodness, guys. Well, isn't this just beautiful? Sun's coming up and it's gorgeous. Okay. So we're still dealing with this new beginning. Okay. We're still dealing with it. It's still coming, guys. It's still coming. All right. The Fool has come out three days in a row. Can't make this shit up. You guys watch me shuffle. <laughs> okay, just so we're clear. Now, and we're still in this slow and steady movement. Okay, slow and steady wins the race with the Knight of Pentacles. This is a good thing. We have the Ten of Cups. Now, this Ten of Cups, this Ten of Cups is not just the Ten of Cups that, um, it's not just about a romantic relationship. Even though we also do have the lovers here, again, both, neither of these right, are right now are just about a romantic relationship. Yes, there is romance coming into our lives. Don't get it twisted. But with this yellow color I was seeing this morning, this is more than just about a romantic partnership. This is about what is ultimately going to be fulfilling for you. Right, because the, ten, the key word in the Ten of Cups here is contentment, okay? So this is more than just love. This is passion. This is your career. This is, these are your hobbies. These are um, all, of the, all of the different and often little things in your life that really continue to not only, to, to not only help you feel fulfilled but to fill your cup and to continue filling it so that it's just constantly overflowing okay and yes this is possible the universe is, is immensely is like infinitely abundant okay and the one thing that keeps us from experiencing that constant flow of emotional validation you could say um fulfillment is your own disbelief in it? Is your own belief that, oh, oh, this is never gonna happen. The fool, the five of wands. I mean, let's be real. Now, luckily, this energy is only in the five of wands state. It's not the five of swords state. If it was the five of swords state, we'd really be bashing ourselves about this. But we're not. We're just a bit conflicted. And why are we conflicted? Well, understandably, things are moving pretty slow. So it kind of leaves leaves, <laughs> leaves space for the ego to get into play. And that's where strength comes in. Strength um, is the, the strength to persevere. Strength in this, in this deck, the key word is fortitude. And that absolutely makes sense. Having the fortitude to continue on, to press on, slow and steady wins the race. Now, with the Hierophant in reverse here, oh, also though, also, strength can't talk about ego, all right? So not only are we having the strength to persevere and keep moving step by step with the Knight of Pentacles, we're also having the strength to keep our egos in check and be like, no, I'm not going to give in to that thought process, that mindset. I'm not going to give in to that doubt and that fear. I recognize it. I understand why it's there, but I'm not going to allow myself to fall into despair just because, just because things are moving pretty slowly with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, don't get me wrong. We do have some fire energy and I'll get to this in a second. I just wanted to point that out. We do have the fire energy here. The Hierophant is in reverse. And the biggest thing I'm getting from the Hierophant in reverse is learning. 
whereas up, when it's upright, it can talk about teaching. But here we're learning, and we're learning through our strength and our fortitude. We're learning through our perseverance, okay? With the, with the Knight of Pentacles, we're learning a lot about ourselves, about the universe, about the art of manifestation. We're also having the strength to go against the status quo. What does that mean? Well, you are, instead of going for what everyone else tells you with the Hierophant, you're going with what you want. You're following your lead now. If you're not fully in that space yet, you're getting there. You're you're getting there with this with strength. Your your circumstances within your life are leading you towards fully activating your will, fully working from a place of what it is you are here to do. Your higher will, the higher will of the universe, even okay. Now, here's the fire energy. And this couldn't be any more perfect. Now, in this deck, the Queen of Wands is symbolized by Aries. Is representative, excuse me, of Aries. And the King of Wands is representative of Leo. Now, I normally see it the other way around. I see the King of Wands as Aries and the Queen of Wands as Leo. But... It came out in this deck. This is how it's symbolized in this deck, so I'm just going to go with it. Okay. This is that yellow energy I was seeing. This is that passion, that drive. Aries is a cardinal sign. I, my son is an Aries in the Eastern chart, and I really resonate with that. I am very action-oriented, okay? I'm not about to waste time. There are a ton of things to do, and I want to do them. <laughs> I want to get them done, and I want to do them now, Okay. Aries is ruled by Mars. Mars is creative. Mars is active. Here's Mars right here on this card. Okay. It's almost as if your willpower can't be stopped by the status quo any longer. And either people can just keep up with you or they can get left behind. And it's not, and it's very Queen of Swords like, to be honest. At least that's what it feels like right now. Because it's not even about the drama. It's not even about, ha, huh, you can't keep up. Look how much better I am than you. No, it's like, oh, you can't keep up. Okay, cool. Well, maybe I'll meet you up later on down the road. But I got things to do, so I'm gonna go. Bye. Love you. Mean it. <laughs> okay. Now, with the lovers here. Yes. Are we talking? Can, could we be talking romantic relationship? Sure thing, especially with the Ten of Cups here. But this is not the only thing I'm getting. The biggest thing I'm getting is the balance between masculine and feminine within you that is helping you move forward. It's helping you achieve this overall fulfillment emotionally. It's helping you have the strength to stand up for what you believe in and or learn something new. I'm definitely getting an energy of downloads from the universe with the Hierophant in reverse. It actually feels really nice. Some of you could be working on leaving a commitment that would that could be uh, leaving a commitment, leaving a marriage, that definitely could be um, this new start that's being symbolized by the Fool here. And you really could be conflicted about it with the Five of Wands. There could be a lot of internal conflict about it. There also could be a lot of external conflict. The Five of Wands is the peanut gallery to me. Too many cooks in the kitchen. That sort of thing. But look, check it out. It's your life, not theirs. So ultimately, what they have to say is just an opinion. You don't have to accept it. You know what I mean? All right, cool. So let's get into some clarification. I want to start with the hair of fun. What are we learning here? And then I 
actually, I want to go up to the five of wands. I believe. Do, 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 do. But definitely, there's definitely a lot of learning that's happening right now. The universe is really teaching us some major new lessons that are setting us up to be in greater alignment, um, greater balance with the lovers here. It could also be helping you make a decision about something. Because the lovers can be about a choice. Now, keeping with the theme here, I often see the lovers as a choice between vice or virtue. Vice being choosing the will of others over your own. And with the Hierophant in reverse here, it really looks like you're having, some of us, or some of you are having the strength to choose virtue which would be choosing your own self, your own direction. And, uh, and that's most likely from a lot of the things that you may have learned, you know, recently or and or are continuing to learn, right? Okay, one more shuffle. And then I want to clarify the hair font first. And the hair font in reverse here. All right. Okie dokie, guys. So, Spirit, please clarify the hair pump, please. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Wow. <laughs> All right, underneath the deck is the Fool. Here it is again. Now, the first card that fell out is the Emperor. Taking your power back, taking your life back, taking control over your life. And this is learning... This could be learning the skills you need to learn in order to take control of your life. Wow. 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 Oh my god, guys. I really don't even think I need to pull any more clarify. Actually, I do. I want to pull the I want to clarify the lovers. But look, okay? Okay. Check it out. You guys, I swear I I swear you can't make this stuff up. In this deck, Leo is symbolized by Aries, right? And I was saying to you, I'm not sorry, not Leo, Leo. The Queen of Wands, because normally, okay, normally I see the Queen of Wands as Leo, but in this deck, it's Aries. And I was saying to you, this yellow energy is action-oriented. It's direction. It's taking the steps. It's doing the work. It's the go-getting. It's going after it. And that's Aries energy for me. Well, look at what we have here. The Emperor, which also symbolizes Aries. Okay? So you're going after it. And when I heard when I when this card fell out and I saw it, I was I the first thing I heard was taking your power back. So you're taking control over your life. Okay? It's literally like you are actively we don't have the magician here, but we are you are actively manifesting this new cycle, this new start for yourself. Even though you might be pretty conflicted about some things right now. Going against the grain is never easy, <laughs> okay? But look, you're really going. You're really going for it. We have the strength again, and the chariot, okay? So you've got Leo energy. You've got Cancer energy, Gemini, Aries. Taurus, or maybe another Earth sign. That's so funny. You have, I mean, all of my major signs are here. <laughs> Aries. Oh, <laughs> my roommate's alarm is going off. Um, Aries, Leo, Cancer, even Taurus, which is my sun sign in Western astrology. But... I'm sorry if you can hear that, guys, but my, my roommate's alarm is going off at the moment. <laughs> but you're really moving forward, and you're having the strength to continue moving forward, okay? In the face of opposition is what I'm hearing. And look at that. Standing your ground. Now, this is all clarification on the Hierophant, but I'm taking it as a continuation of this story here. I'm going to clarify one more, the lovers, but look at this. Standing your ground. And standing your ground does what? 
brings you victory. Six of Wands. Standing up for what you believe in, standing up for yourself, what your choices are, what it is you truly want in life. And then you have the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups again. The Ten of Cups has come out here twice, guys. The Fool has come out twice. Strength has come out twice. I mean, these... These daily readings are becoming so magical. It's ridiculous. Like, every day, consistently, we're clarifying cards with the same damn cards. But ultimately, what you're learning here is setting you up for a really bright future. To be, to be this king. Either to be the king or to attract the king, whichever, whichever resonates with you. Like, for me, I would love to attract a king of pentacles but also i'd like to be a king of pentacles myself and a queen of pentacles damn it hallelujah can i get an amen <laughs> but this is really beautiful energy guys so many of you really have taken your power back and if you haven't you're in the process of doing it and let me tell you it's going really well so far it just feels really really good okay all right, so finally, I just want to clarify the lovers here. Because for some of you, this is a romantic relationship. But others of you, this is a choice. And I really feel like with, chari with the chariot being on the table now, I feel like this is a choice in which direction you want to go in. Which direction are you most passionate about? Which direction is really going to lead you to this King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups status? Yes? For some of you. For others of you, it's still a choice to go against the grain, to follow your own heart, your own intuition, your own willpower, instead of that of the patriarchy or the, 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 the society, the status quo, that kind of thing. All right. Please clarify the lovers. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. The Page of Rods. So self-discovery is at play here. So if you are facing a choice right now, self-discovery is really going to be the way that you make this choice, you make this decision. Now, you, the way these cards have just fallen, I don't know what they are yet, obviously we can't see them yet, but they have fallen, they fell over here. And the first thing that said to me was, you are choosing the path of least resistance, number one, even though you do have the seven of rods here. The least, the path, first of all, the path of least resistance does not mean there is no resistance, okay? It's just the, the least resistance. You're choosing the path of least resistance that's leading you to your ultimate fulfillment, materially, financially, and emotionally, okay? So what we have here, uh, turn right side up, okay. What we have here, <laughs> oh my goodness, we have the Ace of Rods, we have the Hermit, and we have the Hanged Man. Okay, so there's, there's a period that's going, there's a period right now that we're going into. You might be coming out of this, you might be. But I know personally, I'm kind of going, I'm kind of in a hermit mode myself. Um, you know, I'm not trying to really spend too much money. I'm not trying to hang out too much. Y you know, there are certain, there are certain situations that I'm giving to, but I'm just, I'm kind of in a bit of a hermit stage. I feel like that might be a so somewhat of a central theme for fire signs right now. I'm an Aries sun and a Leo rising with a Cancer moon. So... I really like to be in my shell anyway <laughs> with that cancer moon. But anyway, there's a period of growth that's happening. You might feel like you're in a little bit of a precarious position. Uh, you, but what's happening, you have two cards of enlightenment here. Okay, So there is you really could be going through a spiritual awakening. If you are kind of being reclusive right now, that is A-OK. -okay. Because ultimately, you're learning more about yourself, self-discovery, page of rods, whatever to say. And the hermit is very much about self-discovery. The hermit uh, is an energy of going within to 
either find your inner light or find more of your inner light and clear the way, clear, clear the clutter for that light to shine through. Okay, the hermit talks about generating greater authenticity. And I'm saying, I mean, I'm saying, page of rods, self-discovery. This is my self-discovery card. Okay. And look at this. I mean, I really feel like some of you could be getting some serious epiphanies. This combination of the hanged man, which is um, a situation in which you put yourself you basically you hang yourself in a precarious position in order to gain enlightenment in order to see things from a different perspective okay in the beautiful creatures tarot that we use as our main deck for these daily readings the hanged one in this deck the keyword is perception so this right here the hermit and the and the hanged man is a very powerful combination when it comes to self-discovery, when it comes to enlightenment, when it comes to epiphanies. Some of you may be having some serious epiphanies soon, if not already, okay? And look at that. I'm telling you, Ace of Rods, self-discovery. This is kind of an aha moment, very much like the Ace of Swords. But in this situation, this is creativity. This is passion sexuality even <laughs> someone could be coming to some realizations about another person that either they may not have necessarily been aware of before may not have really thought about before or um, there might be some serious attraction I mean we are talking this is clarifying the lovers okay so we could be talking about, you know, you connecting with a soulmate. Okay, we've got the lovers, and we've got the Ten of Cups here twice. So I'm not going to say that this can't be about love. It definitely could be about love. It really could be. And someone, someone may be having some epiphanies that are putting them in this Ten of, I'm sorry, this King of, yeah, well, this Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles position. Ready? This is this is the commitment. And it's a balanced commitment in the sense that the you have the material aspect, you have the pentacles, the, the, the st stability, groundedness. <coughs> please excuse me. Please excuse the garbage truck if you can hear it. But this material commitment has the emotional the emotions to back it up. It's not just a dry, strictly material, strictly financial type thing. There is love here, okay? And someone, someone is in a hermitage stage, a hermitage stage right now in which they are rediscovering themselves, which is allowing them to rediscover you, potentially, or to discover you at all, potentially. Or this could be you. You are the you are the person in this hermitage stage, and you are either rediscovering yourself or rediscovering someone else or discovering someone else. Okay? That's beautiful, guys. That's a really awesome, awesome reading. Okay. Stand up for what you believe in. Continue to do so. Continue to have the strength to do so. All right? And this is beautiful. There is a ton of momentum right now. So keep up the great work, guys. All right, let's get into the oracle section. Starting with the whispers of love.
I do want to say before I get started with the with the oracle for the lovers here a period of introspection which also I'm getting it doesn't include too much communication right now it may not be there may not be any communication at all or it just may be somewhat limited and first of all what I want to say about that is you will know you will know if you're having beneficial communication with someone period you'll just know you'll feel it okay but in this period of introspection, it's kind of like a, I'm getting like a separation energy, but this is helping you see the light. It's helping bring two people closer together. And I feel like I might be potentially repeating myself, but that really wanted to come through. Just because, you know, you may not be interacting with someone as much as you want doesn't mean it's not beneficial okay again slow and steady wins the race building things piece by piece by piece and that allows someone to really let this epiphany to settle in okay so that's why this is so beneficial because the slower you move and and you know the more you take care to place each piece of the foundation down as carefully as possible with as much thought and intention, positive, beneficial intention, the stronger this becomes, this realization, this, this inspiration, this creativity becomes. Now, this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This can be a career situation passion project, something that is extremely fulfilling for you. But in any situation, no matter what it is, taking the time to really go through the steps is the most beneficial thing. Because honestly, it's really just, it's more about the journey than it is the destination. And that's what this that's abs, oh yes, that is absolutely what this is saying right here on the lovers, the hanged man, the hermit, and the ace of wands. It's more about the journey and the discovery than it is the destination, okay? Beautiful message. I'm sorry guys, I gotta blow my nose. <laughs> my nose is running. Okay. All right guys, so next, now we're gonna get into now we're getting into the Oracle cards. Okay. So, from the Whispers of Love, for today, November 7th, 2018. Best messages, please, Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you so much. Underneath the deck, we have yes be authentic to who you are <coughs> excuse me you are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel well would you look at that i'm pretty sure that came out here with the hierophant in reverse in reverse and the emperor let me just go ahead and drop that mic <laughs> leave this here Okay, and what, oh, we got two cards here. Oh, uh, the first is card number 44, get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. And you also have card number 16, love is all around you. There is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. Now, get to know each other is exactly what I was saying, what, this energy of the Hierophant, the, I'm sorry, the, I'm sorry, the Hermit, yes, the Hermit, the Hanged Man, and the Ace of Wands. It might be feeling pretty precarious right now. You might be feeling a little bit stuck, but keep in mind, excuse me, keep in mind that you have all of this momentum 
the Emperor, Strength, the Chariot, Queen of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. Even though the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, he still moves. But then you've got the Chariot, Strength, and the Emperor? Dude. Bro. <laughs> That's some fucking momentum, okay? So getting to know each other is happening here. Especially since this fell on the lovers. This is a, this really feels, if we're talking a romantic relationship here, this feels destined. This is universally guided. This is divinely guided. This is divinely orchestrated. The lovers. This is more than just the Two of Cups. This is the major arcana of the Two of Cups, okay? Or you could say the Two of Cups is the minor arcana of the lovers. I think I'd rather put it that way. This is fate. This is the universe bringing you your what you are aligning, what you are a vibrational match to, <clears throat> okay? And so even though it may seem like, even though it may seem like nothing's really happening all that much on the, sur on the surface, deep down, y'all are getting to know each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll drink to that. Cheers with my coffee. <laughs> And then also, love is all around you. That's just a general fact. You know, keep that in mind. Don't you forget it. In your moments when you despair, remember that love is still always around you. Okay? Closing message now. From the Crystal Mandala. Closing message for Wednesday, November 7th. Underneath, we have the inner queen. And this to me is kind of like, we're not going to read this card, but this to me is that queen of wands energy. Okay? <clears throat> but here we have card number 45, Goddess Gaia and Ocean Jasper. Goodwill. 45. All right. Do, 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 do. We bring you the empowerment of goodwill. There is a type of spiritual power you can co-create, which benefits and protects you while it's mutually empowering others to take their journey and experience divine success. This spiritual power known as goodwill, is generated by how you feel inside and the attitude you cultivate towards others. When you know you have value, it is easy to re recognize the value in another. When you feel encouraged by the universe, it is easy to encourage others. As you put out support, encouragement, and goodwill for the success of all beings, this energy is amplified and returned to you. Mm-hmm, <laughs> We'll read this. Goodwill that is cultivated by individuals becomes part of a collective field. It is the psychic equivalent of a group of angels, perhaps with cheerleader pom-poms waiting in the sidelines until someone needs help. They then burst forward with unparalleled enthusiasm to rally the, sp the person's spirit and boost their confidence. If you have ever attended a sporting game with a cheer squad in attendance, you'll know just how effective encouragement can be for the teammates and, I'm sorry, in the game to tap into their strength of will and refuse to give up. What did I say? Willpower. The stronger that field of goodwill created one day, oh, so created on a day-to-day -day basis by individuals, the more encouragement is available to whomever needs it, whenever they need it. It is very real. Although the prospect of angelic cheerleaders might be amusing, the energy of goodwill has the power to reach into another person's life and turn desperation into determination. It is a force worth cultivating in our world by simply wishing each person well and being an encourager because of this alone. However, there is a further benefit to goodwill. 
for those who consciously cultivate it, it becomes a protect protective field against ill-wishing, which is the opposite of goodwill. Ill-wishing and curses are fear-based energies which are either repelled by goodwill or absorbed and transformed by it. You don't have to interact or react with those energies or even pay them much attention at all, if any. If you just need to... I'm sorry, you just need to focus on how good you feel within yourself when you want everybody to win at their spiritual game in life. You'll get encouragement back when you need it. And of course, as you, as you say to the universe, I want everyone to win, the universe says to you, I want you to win. Winning. <laughs> Six of rods. Winning. <laughs> All right, guys. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you. I hope you all have a great day. A great, great day. Much love to you, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.